umbrella rig. They call it the A rig, Alabama rig, umbrella rig. But uh, find the jig heads. They don't come with jig heads. They just come with the wire and this this head right here. You got to put your own jig heads on. I found these at Bass Pro. They kind of look similar to the the head of the bait. That's why I picked them out. But uh, put on jig heads. You can just put regular lead head looking jig heads on there. A lot of guys use just lead head. But I thought those stuck out. All I read about and what my experience are, you know, you kind of alter your colors. Don't put them all the same, but I got them all the same on this one because it's working today. But usually I'll put like two of the same color here and two of the same color on this side and a different one, like a five inch on the back. But I really didn't want to dig around through all my tackle, so I just threw on what was handy. And uh, the cloudier the water are, that's why I got a chartreuse on there. These are magic mental uh, KVD ones. And, but wait, when you get it, it's gonna look like this. So when you get them, you gotta bend these wires out like this. Bend it out, because if you don't, they all get tangled up almost every cast. And the ones I like a lot, it's got these little spinners on here. I think it just attracts more fish. That's what I've had good luck on. And it works really good on Lake St. Clair. This is what I usually throw on St. Clair. And uh, it's a really good bait, throw it out. You want a heavy, good line because you lose this rig right here. It's about 30 bucks for one rig. So make sure you got heavy line. You don't want to use no little line because that's a lot of money right there. And my advice, almost every cast, check your line. Like I said, it's a $30 rig. You don't want to lose it. But it works. Just throw it out, reel it slow, and then you know you can make a couple reels like that. Speed it up, make it look imitate a swimming middle. They don't just swim the same speed all the time. They pulsate middles do. So this is what you're trying to do is imitate minnows. It's like a school of minnows to the bass. And uh, it's a really good, really, really good rig on St. Clair. I use it all the time. I haven't used it this year, but I should start using it because they're starting to hit swim baits. This is the one that I, I like a lot. It's made by Yum. I mean, like I said, they're expensive. They're like, you know, 15, 20 bucks just for the rig. And then you got to pay for all the jig heads. And then all these swim baits. So it's expensive rig. It's like 30 bucks, like 60 bucks or two. As far as a whole rig, you know what I mean? But they work. Try them out. All right, we're gonna catch them. Give it a shot. It's deeper water with A rigs. Well, guys, it is time to slay them on the A rig. Me and my dad are just getting out here to the first spot of the day and we are super geeked to get out here we have been catching them on the z-man jackhammer lately so we figured we would come out here and try to catch some fish on the a-rigs today we, we haven't thrown these at all this year so we're pretty excited to hook them up and throw them and possibly catch one two three four five fish on one one cast that would be unreal guys so hopefully we can get on some big fish today well me and my dad are going to be throwing around this A rig or Alabama rig, however you want to call it. But make sure to drop a comment below if you guys have ever thrown these and what's your biggest bass on the A rig. So we're going to be working these around today on one of our favorite lakes here in Michigan. It's right down the road from our house and we usually catch some pretty big fish on this lake. If you have been watching my YouTube videos in the last couple of years, but we're going to be working this today and hopefully get on a giant guys this rig is crazy looking if you can tell i got a bunch of different color swim baits on there my dad already told you or talked to you guys about why that is but my dad's casting i got i better start casting i want to get one on this today that'd be cool let's catch them guys So guys, like my dad said, you're basically just throwing this out and it's supposed to imitate like a school of bait fish. So you're gonna wanna work it super slow and then you can also speed it up. Just work it a bunch of different ways. You can even 
So, um, I'm gonna swing your rod, fish. My dad just had a hit. He couldn't set the hook, I was in the way. He didn't want to hit me with his rod. Smack it. <laughs> hey guys, these baits catch big fish though. In the past couple of years, we've thrown these and just caught big smallmouth bass on Lake St. Clair. It's crazy, guys. My dad was actually down on Dale. What's it called? Dale Holler. Dale Holler. And he destroyed them down there on the A rig. Hopefully, we can hook up onto a couple today. That'd be cool. We haven't thrown these in a long time. There's a bunch of bait fish down there and also a bunch of fish along bottom. We don't know if they're walleyes or crappies or bass. There's a bunch of them down there though. These baits are super heavy duty guys. It's a workout casting these things, but it's worth it. They catch fish. Come on, big bass. Smash the A rig. First time I put A rig on this year. Got a fish on A rig. Sweet. Yeah, nice. Decent fish. getting out this morning. I wanted to go work out before I came in. Hey rig guys. It's starting to work. Made about 10 casts, caught two fish. On the A rig. He inhaled that one. Yeah. Pretty sweet. What do you think, Steve O? <laughs> That's a buddy of mine that just don't believe in the A rig. I showed him what it was all about down Dale Holler a couple years they were making fun of me throwing the A rig and I rigged it up. First cast, I caught a four and a half pound largemouth. Third cast, I caught a four and a half pound small and then they all wanted an A rig. Imagine <laughs> how that works out. For some reason, I didn't have any more in my boat. Anyhow, I'm using it today, it's working. I use the A rig, try to pulsate it to where it looks like actual minnows instead of just reeling in and out. Jerk it so it moves ahead and goes quick. Like this. You know, and you got it reeling it in. When you're reeling it in, it's going to look like that and then jerk your rod and make it look like a metal's pulsating and taking off. And that's when you'll get the hits. It's a big bait. It is a little bit of work, but it catches fish. Fish? Yeah. On A rig, guys. First K. 
cast in this new spot. One loads up on it. We're hitting on this. It's called Magic Minnow, I think. Sweet. First time I used the A-Rig this year, I already caught three fish on it. The only time I really use it is out there in Lake St. Clair. I thought we'd try it. We're just killing them on my jackhammer. I thought I'd try something else. It gets boring catching them on the same thing all the time. It does to me. <laughs> I like to see if I can catch it on different baits. Let's see what happens here. When you cast it, just you don't just whip it, just kind of lob it. Then it won't get us tangled up as much. Pretty good size one. Put that chartreuse one on in the middle, don't maybe that attract. He hit the chartreuse one that time. They're right there. Change it out with that silver one, put that chartreuse. Catching a few. That's four now on the A-Rig. for a toad well guys that about wraps up today's video we are out there on the lake today throwing the alabama rigs and it was super fun out there on the water my dad actually caught like four or five largemouth bass on the a rig so that was super cool um if you have not thrown one of these i highly recommend it it's super fun throwing these a rigs it catches fish guys but it is definitely a workout throwing these a rigs and um, they are pretty expensive like my dad said this is this right here is just like $15 and then plus all the swim jigs and the swim bait so it's worth it though guys they catch fish but really appreciate you guys watching today's video make sure to go hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next one stay tuned guys